It's Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, giving out under glory and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Raha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the Hofi Elect, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. There's a brother Malachiah with another video. Hopefully, it's edifying to the lambs of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and it's just a quick video, you know, because uh, the deceit of Esau, you know, and through his lies and his philosophies, it got our, the minds of our people, you know, they, they spoil, man. You know, they, they think because they can get uh, degrees or masters and doctorates that, that they that they are considered wise, man. You know, but these things are the wisdom of, of, of this world, man. You know, it's all vanity. Okay. So, real quick. Let me get... um. First Corinthians 3 and 18 Let no man deceive himself If any man among you seem to be wise in this world Let him become a fool that he may be wise Right so you know a man that's, that, that would be considered wise in this world Would have you know the doctorate, the doctorate degrees The masters you know the, the bachelors You know any form of degree to down Uh High school diploma, you know, anything, man. You kind of got your report cards. So you kind of wise in the councils of this world. But you have to become a fool in order to be wise, right? Meaning you have to be able to uh, to be retaught the ways of the Lord, right? The true, the true and uh, the true ways of, uh, of life, man, which comes from the scriptures, right? So you have to put aside the knowledge of the world and put aside that pride that you have gained from you know, from from your straight A's, and you know, you never missed the, you never failed the test or whatever. You have to put a uh, put aside that pride, man, and, and and be willing to be taught. You know, uh, the doctrines of life. Okay, because the Lord says in verse nineteen, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with your howl, right? So the wisdom of the wisdom of this world, you know. Your, your, your doctor degrees and your, your master's degrees and everything, you know, it's foolishness with the most high. Because, you know, just go to say, like, what if you got a damn uh, uh, a doctor's or a master's in business? You know, what, what, uh, what profit is they going to, like, you know, what profit is it going to profit you in the day of wrath or, you know, what what is it going to do for you, you know, in the times of Jacob's trouble or, you know, in the famine or the pestilence or, you know, kind of trying to maneuver through the FEMA troops and the UN troops and the damn martial law troops. You know, hey, or, or even having a damn master's degree in nursing or or to have a doctor's degree. You know, it's not going to do you no, no type of, it's not going to profit you nothing, man. You know, it's the wisdom of the Lord is what's going to profit you. All right. So that's why he kind of tell you in Isaiah, you know, wisdom. Matter of fact, let's get it real quick. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, right? That wisdom and knowledge going back to the law, statutes, and commandments, right? Having that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on how to serve the Lord, you know, that's what's going to be your stability of time because you're going to need the spirit of the Lord in these times, you know, to kind of prepare you and maneuver you through what's to come, okay? So he say, in wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that times, right? And the strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure, right? So, you know, you kind of following up the Esau ways and you're not following up the word. Uh, matter of fact, let's get this real quick because this is what's supposed to be our, the, the law, statutes, the commandments, right? The statutes of Yahweh Bashim al is supposed to be our wisdom and our knowledge before the nations, Right? So this is what makes us pure, right? Because this is a pure, uh, this is a pure, uh, uh, this is pure knowledge and pure wisdom, you know, and pure understanding. All right. So this is Deuteronomy four and verse five. He said, "Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord, uh, my power, commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it." Keep therefore and do them, for this is the for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Right? So 
when you come back and you follow on the law, statutes, the commandments of the Lord, this is what makes you wise, right? Amongst men and amongst the nations. It's not, you know, your damn degrees. You kind of put them up in your house. You know, you put them on Facebook. You put them on your, your profile. You know, hey, th th those things, th that's just vanity, man. True wisdom comes from the Lord. All right? In fact, let's get that. Okay, because wisdom comes from the Lord. All right, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 2, verse 6. Okay. All right, matter of fact, we're going to start at verse 5. Uh, all right. So he say, matter of fact, I want to start at verse 3. Shit, man. I'm just going to get verse 1. I'm going to start from the top and just read down. My son, if thou would receive my uh, my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thy ear unto wisdom and apply thy heart to understanding. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge and liftest up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as hidden treasure, as for hidden treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of Yahweh. Right? For the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, giveth wisdom. Okay? Out of his mouth come in knowledge and understanding. So it is the Most High who gives you these things. Right? And you get them by seeking uh, seeking uh, the face of the Lord, man. You know, understanding the fear. Okay? Fearing the Most High, man, by keeping his law, statutes, and commandments, right? But we kind of go off, off of, uh, you know, Esau's knowledge, man. You know, our people want to get these damn degrees and consider themselves to be wise and noble people, right? But you're going after the ways of Esau, man, which is really leading you in a snare and leading you to destruction. All right. Get Isaiah 42 and verse 22. Okay. All right. He say, matter of fact, uh, we are gonna get verse twenty one. All right. He say, Yahweh Shemuel Shah is well pleased for his righteous, for his righteousness sake. All right. He will magnify the law and make it honorable. Right. And that's what the Lord gonna do because he gonna cause all these nations to serve him. Right. But by the hands of his uh his chosen elect, man, it's gonna make these nations bow to Yah by Shemuel Shah and follow the law. Alright? And it's gonna be honorable. Just like wickedness is honorable today, the law is gonna be honorable in the kingdom of heaven because it's gonna be the way of life. Alright, verse twenty two. He said, But this is a people robbed and spoiled, right? The uh the so called black man, women, Hispanic, native, Indian men and women. Right in America and scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, well, people that's robbed and spoiled, man. The so called white man kind of robbed us and spoiled us of everything, man. Right? They are all, wait, they are all of them snared in holes, right? We've been snared in holes, man, because we've been spoiled through philosophies and doctrines of men, all right? And they have hid. And they are hid in prison houses. Okay. They are for a prey. And none delivered for for a spoil. And none said restore. Right? And that's the and that's the um uh, you know that's the that's the um shit, that's our people, man. That's the state in the minds of our people, right? Our people are destroyed and none have said restore. Okay? We hid in the prison houses, you know, we once that that suffer from the mass incarcerations. Alright? And we and we are but for a prey. Okay. And we led by the snares of Esau, man. That's why we kinda get these damn get high positions in America. You know, Jake, you know, mentality kinda changed, man. He kinda slowly but surely becoming one of those Edomites, man. Right? So this is the book of uh, Psalms 58 and 3 He said the wicked are estranged from the womb They go They go astray as soon as they are uh, As soon as they be born speaking lies Right uh, I um, Let me see
All right, so let me let me keep reading. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read it again. This is the book of Psalms, fifty eight and three. He said, "The wicked are estranged from the womb; they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies." Right, and that's the that's the nature of the so called white man. You know, Esau, Edom. Uh, the man who who actually you know you kind of go to his schools and learn his knowledge and you get his degrees and he basically, you know, he declares if you are wise or not, man, by the degrees and 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 uh time that you put in in his program right you don't damn went to school for so many years just to get programmed by this devil man and now he's calling you wise because you you are you are down you're a perfect slave you know so to say he said their poison is like the poison of a serpent they are like the deaf adder that stop it uh that stop it her ear all right because they they kind of block that they kind of block you from uh from hearing the uh the words of the lord right even even now today you know with the sensors with the youtube sensors and the damn facebook sensors and all these things man which is ultimately gonna lead to you know the famine of the word uh them you know taking the word completely off off of these social uh media sites man you know all right we go to Revelation. Okay, Revelation chapter 20. And verse 7. All right. All right, and it say, and when, and when the thousand years are expired, saints shall be loosed out of his, matter of fact, matter of fact. Let me start at verse 6. It say, bless Blessed and holy is he that had parted that have part in the first resur uh, resurrection. On such the second death hath no power, and they shall be priests of Yahweh and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. And when a thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. Right, that was like during the time of the Renaissance, right? Because the thousand years where we reign was during the Dark Ages. Okay, so after the dark ages, you know, with the renaissance, which is the rebirth of the so-called white man. Okay, which you read about in uh, in Malachi. You know, when he said we will return and build desolate places. All right, the same is going on here, man. You know, he uh, seen was loose from his prison, man. Right, so he say, and when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loose of, loosed out of his prison. And shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, right? God and may God to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is is as the sand of the sea. Right? So that's what the so called white man did, man. You know, he kind of came out and, and started de deceiving the world, man. Deceiving the world. Because during the time when we was in rulership, we had we had him in captivity, man. Right? So during the Renaissance, the rebirth. You know, um, he kind of came back into power, man, and can came back and started deceiving the nations again, right? And was able to take down the, uh, the Israelites. All right, so you know he he came with a lot of deception, man. All right, changing the times and you know the the seasons. All right, like he tell you in the book of Daniel. All right, chapter seven and verse uh, twenty five. Right, and he shall speak, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, which this devil do, man. He speak highly against the Most High, right, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, right, and think to change the times and laws, right, and that's what he did, man. He changed the he changed the knowledge of the Lord into a lie, like he tell you in the book of Romans, the first chapter, twenty fifth verse, I believe. Uh, and they shall be given unto him unto into a time. And times and the dividing of times, right? So they're gonna be giving it to him, man. So hey, this devil he just playing out his role, okay? Because he gonna be taken down eventually, man, right? Like that like the Lord telling uh, in Romans the ninth chapter that I believe it's the twenty seventh verse that uh, that he uh, he raised up. Matter of fact, let's kind of get it. Okay, the seventeenth verse, Salakia. All right, so he said, for the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up that I may show my 
power in thee and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth right so this is why the this, uh, the most high raised up the so called white man being Esau Edom you know in these last days to show his power in the earth because this devil has never been touched and was never and, and uh and has ruled the earth in wickedness man and you know he's gonna be taken down with uh by a mighty sword I should say you know by the way of those thermonuclear missiles man and the nation's gonna hit set on man alright he not gonna be able to escape this one you know all right, so let's go to the Psalms, chapter 140. Psalms, chapter 140, and verse 5. Okay. The pride, uh, the proud have hid a snare for me, right? And cords, they have, they have spared a, it's like it, they have spread a net by the wayside. They have set gins for me, say la. Right? So and this is and this is the so called white man, you know. They they set up snares for uh for us in this kingdom, man. You know, rather it be through the educational system. You know, hey, they even taught you they taught you that the damn that the damn earth, you know, was a damn ball spinning in spinning in space, man. You know? They kinda tell you that that the earth is overpopulated, right? That shit, what they, what else they, uh, they used to tell you that that uh that black people came from white people, man. You know this devil come with all all different types of philosophy, man. The, the damn Darwin, the damn Darwin uh theory, right? Man coming from apes, you know the Big Bang theory, right? It's all all these different things that the damn white man is uh has snared you with, man. With Christianity and Islam and Catholicism and you know. All these different things that the damn white man has snared you with, man. Right? It, it's all to destroy you. Right? You kind of go to school and get your degrees and shit. And now you think that you wise, man. That's a snare, though. You know? And then you come into this council. And then you have, and then you realize that you have to be retaught everything. You know? You got to go through that process of being a babe again, man. And being retaught everything. All right, let me see. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 9 and verse 5. Okay. And they would deceive everyone, his neighbor, right? So then this is what Esau Edom would do, man. He would deceive everyone, his neighbor, right? And would not speak the truth, right? Uh, they have taught their tongues to speak lies and weary themselves to commit iniquity, man. Right, that that habitation is in the midst of deceit, man, and that's like us, man. Our habitation is in the midst of deceit, right? Because everything around us is a lie, man. Everything around us is sin dressed up, you know, and normalized. Okay, through deceit they refuse to know me, say Yahweh Shemir Asai, and through the deceit of the so-called white man, our people refuse to know the Lord. You know, through the deceit of Christianity, you know, our people refuse to come into the truth through the deceit of all these other spiritualities, you know, through the deceit of the, of, of you know, the third eye, you know, being a damn white man's doctrine, you know, his Darwin's doctrine and all these sorts of doctrines that he got in America. Through his deceit, our people refuse to turn to the most high. All right. The Proverbs, I'm going to close out. Nine and six, okay. He say, forsake the foolish, right, and live, and go in the way of understanding, right. That way of understanding would be following the law, statutes, and commandments, okay. And the Lord tell you to not the uh, He said, forsake the foolish, man. Who is the foolish? Esau, Edom, man. Pertaining to Job, the thirtieth chapter, okay. The eighth verse, right. They were children of fools. Yea, children of base men. They were violent than the earth, man, being Esau Edom. Okay? He a child of a fool, man. And we have to forsake uh, the, of the foolish man. All right? And he tell you that... Let's go back to that. 9 and 
9 and 6. All right. He said, forsake the foolish man and live and go in the way of understanding. So let's get the way of understanding. All right. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 33 and verse, uh, and verse 3. Right, he say a man of understanding trust in the law, right? And the law is faithful unto him as an oracle. Okay, so that's what a faithful man do, man. He trusts in the laws of Yahweh Shemel Shah and he walk after them, man. Alright. And with that, man, you know, I hope you was edified. And of course, and all of course, first and foremost, always giving out undergrowing and praises. To you, how by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Raha Kodash, Shem, Brother Malachi, man, until next time, say Shalom, peace and salutations to the whole for you, let.